Good day. This is Bernadette Emma Magaling, third year Bachelor of Science in Accountancy student, and I'll be doing a financial analysis in one of the Philippines' largest company with revenues equivalent to about 4% of the country's gross domestic product in 2020, the San Miguel Corporation. Similar with other companies in the country, 2020 was the year that changed how they operate and generally the turning point of their business. By means of analyzing the financial aspects of the corporation, we will be able to see the extent of the impact the pandemic has brought to the company. So here is the consolidated statement of financial position of San Miguel Corporation and subsidiaries for the years 2020 and 2019 expressed in millions and the consolidated income statement for the year 2020 and 2019. I will be using ratio analysis to provide a summarized and concise study of relationship among various financial factors shown in series of statements. Shown here is the financial ratios I computed that highlights the liquidity ratios, financial leverage or debt ratios, coverage ratio, activity ratios, and profitability ratios. First, under the liquidity ratios is the current ratio computed as current asset divided by current liabilities. The company is more liquid in 2020, having a current ratio higher than that of 2019 from 1.46 to 1.60. The liquidity of the company for 2020 can also be analyzed using the acid test or quick ratio. Similar with current ratio, 2020 is higher than 2019 which indicates that their ability to cover short-term debt obligations with current assets increased from the prior year. Moving forward, first, under the financial leverage or debt ratios is the debt-to-equity ratio. As you can see, the debt-to-equity ratio decreases from 2019 to 2020, which indicates that the number of debt for every equity has decreased. The debt-to-total assets ratio of the corporation, on the other hand, also decreased which implies that the company is safe or with lower financial risk. Significant decrease in the long-term debt to total capitalization ratio is also observed which implies that the company's long-term debt is less accounted of the company's total capitalization. Next is the coverage ratio which from 1.38 the ratio has decreased to 0.72 which implies that the company is having hard time or decreased its ability to easily pay interest on its outstanding debt. After the coverage ratio or the activity ratios, first off with the receivable turnover ratio which decreases with 5.84 as compared to 7.48 of 2019, which implies that the company's effectiveness in collecting its accounts receivable from customers or clients has decreased which can be clearly seen in the increased average collection period of 62 and a half days as compared before or from 2019 which was collected with the average of 48.82 or 49 days. When it comes to paying off the company supplier, there is also a decrease on the rate of the payable turnover ratio. They increase basically onto the average number of days they pay from 78 to more than 101 days. A decrease is also evident in inventory turnover ratio because as can be seen, sales decreased big time with less decrease in inventory which averagely sell off after 65 days in 2020 higher than that of 56.82 or 57 days of 2019. Basically, a greater number of days is computed for operating cycle and a little difference in the time it takes to turn raw materials to cash is observed from 27 days of 2019 to 26 days of 2020. Significant decrease in speed of converting assets into sales are evident as we compute for activity ratios which I think is because of limited operations allowed in the start of second half of 2020. San Miguel Corporation as we all know is known for its beers and spirits which was restricted due to liquor bans, restrictions on the operations of bars and other venues which greatly affects their income generation. Last on the line is the profitability ratios, which first off is the gross profit margin, which gradually increased, but amidst this net profit margin, however, decreased because of low sales and more or continued expense of the corporation. But the return on investment and return on equity, on the other hand, has significantly decreased, which means that the investment do not perform good in 2020 and the company wasn't able to generate high income from the equity available to it. From the numbers laid down, 
huge impact to the corporation is evident due to the challenges the country and the world is facing. This is considering the continuous growth of the corporation before 2020. The good is San Miguel Corporation has always been a dynamic company, growing, iterating, and constantly improving. The same goes for us. Even there are hardships in life, eventually, by God's time, we will get through this together. Thank you, stay safe, and have a good day.